Chapter 9, problem number 24. As the manager of the fast food restaurant, you want to look at the mean waiting times for the drive through window. You determine that the time between uh, when the customer places order and they receive the order is 3.7 minutes based on your sample of 64. And so you want to ensure, uh, or the sample mean is 3.57 with a standard deviation of 0 0.8 minutes. So the measure that you're trying to make sure is that you are within the acceptable range. And you want to make sure that your time is less than uh, is within the acceptable range of the 3.7 minutes. So in this particular case, the null hypothesis is that the evidence of the population meaning line is different. So that would be the alternative hypothesis. So if it's the same, the population mean is 3.7. If it's different, it's not 3.7. You're given a 5% level of significance, sample size of 64. The sample mean is 3.57, so that's going to obviously be below, which is probably a good thing. Standard deviation of 0.8 minute, and we calculate the values, the critical values, and the most important one is the p-value. So it says do not reject the null hypothesis based on the logic statement that we have built into Excel. So there's not enough evidence to conclude the population mean is different. Doesn't mean that we prove that it is 3.7, but we can't prove that it isn't. In part B, we are fairly confident that with a sample size of 64, we can apply the central limit theorem, which means that you have to have a sample size of greater than 30, so that it would be considered to be normally distributed. And you can see that it also says in the question, the t-test is appropriate for the sample size, except when the population is extremely skewed or bimodal.